Hello you guys. Welcome back. I know it's been a while. I've been doing a few things. Relaxing after the snow. Two days off from school for the kids. Docking my children. Some sprained ankles, some just you know, was laying out for a while. So I am back and I just wanted to come to you because I wanted to share a prayer with you guys uh, for 2017. So hopefully if this uh, acts right, my laptop, I can <laughs> do this. I think this is like the third time I've tried this. So here we go. Dear God, thank you that you make all things new. Thank you for all that you've allowed into our lives this past year, the good along with the hard things which have reminded us how much we need you and rely on your presence filling us every single day. We pray for your spirit to lead us each step of this new year. We ask that you, you will guide our decisions and turn our hearts to deeply desire you above all else. We ask that you will open doors needing to be opened and close the ones needing to be shut tight. We ask that you would help us release our grip on the things to which you said no, not yet, or wait. We ask for help to pursue your first, you first, above every dream and desire you've put within our hearts. We ask for wisdom, for your strength and power, and to be constantly present with us. We pray you would make us strong and courageous for the road ahead. Give us ability beyond what we feel able. Let your gifts flow freely through us so that you would be honored by our lives and others would be drawn to you. We pray that you'd keep us far from the snares and traps of temptations, that you would whisper in our ear when we need to run and whisper in our heart when we need to stand our ground. We pray for your protection over our families and friends. We ask for your hand to cover us and keep us distant from the evil intent of the enemy that you would be a barrier to surround us, that, we, that we'd that we be safe in your hands. We pray that you would give us discernment and insight beyond our years to understand your will, hear your voice, and know your ways. We ask that you would keep our footsteps firm on solid ground, helping us to be consistent and faithful. Give us supernatural endurance to stay the course, not swerving to the right, or to the left, or being too easily distracted by other things that would seek to call us away from a close walk with you. Forgive us for the times we have worked so hard to be self-sufficient, forgetting our need for you, living independent of your spirit. Forgive us for letting fear and worry control our minds, and for allowing pride and selfishness wreak havoc over our lives. Forgive us for not following your ways and for living distance from your presence. We confess our need for you, fresh, new, again. We ask that you make all things new in our hearts, in our minds, in our lives for this coming year. We pray, we pray excuse me, for your refreshing over us. Keep your words of truth planted firm within us. Help us to keep focus on what is pure and right. Give us the power to be obedient to your word. And when the enemy reminds us where we have been, hissing his lies and attacks our way, we trust that your voice speaks louder and stronger as you remind us we are safe with you and your purposes and plans will not fail. We ask that you will be our defense and rear guard, keeping our way clear, removing the obstacles and covering the pitfalls. Lord, lead us on your level ground. We ask that you would provide for our needs. We ask for your grace and favor. We pray for your blessings to cover us. We pray that you would help us to prosper and make every plan that you have birthed in our heart to succeed. We pray that others would take notice of your goodness and could not help but to say, these are the ones that the Lord has blessed. Help us to be known as great givers. Help us to be generous and kind. Help us to look to the needs of others and not be consumed by our only our own. May we be lovers of truth. May the fruits of your spirit be evident in our lives. Your love, joy, peace, patience, 
kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Shine your light in us, through us, over us. May we make a difference in this world for your glory, your glory and purposes. Set you way before us. May all your plans succeed. We may reflect your peace and hope to a world that so desperately needs your presence and healing. To you be glory and honor in this new year and forever in Jesus' name. And so um, there can, comes 12 uh, Bible verses as well, you guys, that I always read in the morning and at night. And here they are. This is, um, I believe, the NIV version. So it's not the King James version. So, yeah. And he who, who was seated on the throne said, Behold, I am making all things new. Also, he said, Write this down, for these words are trustworthy and true. That's Revelations 21 and 5. The steadfast love of the Lord never ceases. His mercies never come to an end. They are new every morning. Great is your faithfulness. That's Lamentation 3, 22 to 23. Remember not the former things, nor consider the things of old. Behold, I am doing a new thing. Now it springs forth. Do you not perceive it? The old has passed away. Behold, I will make a way in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. Isaiah 43, 18 to 19. Sorry, guys, I put another one in. I mislooked at it. Therefore, if anyone in Christ is a new creature, the old has passed away. Behold, the new has come. To 2 Corinthians five seventeen, Brothers, I do not consider that I have made it my own, but one thing I do, forgetting... Who, what lies behind and straining forward to what lies ahead, which is uh, Philippians 3 and 13. Therefore, repent and return so that your sins may be wiped away in order that times of refreshing may come from the presence of the Lord. That's Acts 3 and 19. For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans for welfare and not for evil, to give you a future and a hope. That's Jeremiah, coming from Jeremiah 29 and 11. But they who wait for the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings like eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. Isaiah is coming from Isaiah 40 and 31. I will give them an undivided heart and put a new spirit in them. Ezekiel 11 and 19 That's coming from that. Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and lean not to your own understanding. In all your ways, submit to him, and he will make your path straight. That means acknowledge him, and he will make your path straight. That's um, 3 and 5. Uh, to six, three, chapter third, third chapter, I'm sorry, of Proverbs 5 to 6. May he give you the desire of your heart. And make all your plans succeed. That's Psalms 20 and 4. Last but not least. Last but not least. Sorry you guys, my camera. It shut off. Last but not least. You crown the year with your goodness. And your past drip with abundance. Coming from Psalms 65 and 11. So um, that would be all you guys I want to share with you. Um, you take this and, you know, use it if you like and pray morning, noon, or night. Uh, either or. And, you know, there are very good scriptures here, you know, to be reading through to get you through the year and through the days ahead. It has been doing it for me. So, um, you know, I would end this, this vlog for now. And... You all have a blessed night and, you know, peace and blessings.